World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. of man is in the hands of God. You are today alive because you are in the hands of God. You are alive today because is by the will of God. Is God who created man. Why the life of man is in the hands of God? It's because it's God who created man. It's God who has given life man. It's God who made a human being a clay to be a living being. It's God who has given clay his own spirit. It's God who created the clay according to his own image. It's God who sent his son for our salvation. He came down to save all who are called the creations of God. It's God who answers our prayers. Yes. Because we are living here on earth, we have the needs, but God has given us only the name of Jesus. When we are asking, when we have the needs, and it's only the name of Jesus which makes us to receive. This God answers our prayers. You who are knowing very well that really you don't have salvation. You were far away from salvation. Today, Jesus Christ has brought this day for you. For you to be saved. I say quickly stand up. You mustn't waste time. Because you'll be doing this for your life. Stand up. Open your eyes. And walk. And come and stand here next to me. Come and receive the new life. Really, your life will be changed. Praise the Lord. Take the step. 
take your step and come to the front. Yemelela, yemelela, utle kamupile ngwaneshu. Oh, come to the front. Yemelela, utle kamupile. Enough is enough. Ulukile gulekana. You are crying. Ulla. And crying and crying alone. Kalono la unoshimo. But the Lord Jesus Christ. It's here for you. Oh, I said, come. Oh, salvation is free. Salvation is free. Salvation is free. Come and receive Jesus. I said to you, do not reject Jesus Christ. He came specially for you. He wants to restore your life today. Come and receive. Come and receive. Come. Really in your home. Lift up your hands. I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation. Follow me in this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, today I surrender my life. To you, Lord Jesus. And I'm saying, Lord, come into my heart and give me new life. Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus, I believe in you with all my heart. And I'm trusting your name. I believe that you are the Son of God. So today, I'm putting my life into your hands. And I'm accepting you as my personal Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can I hear the ululation thing? I can me holoka animo. Hey, they've received the new life today. Yeah, ba mugetse bo pilo bo buswa lohono. Praise the Lord. Prana gatu miswe. Now I'm asking Pastor Eunice to come and welcome you. And she will give you the counseling. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us clap hands for Jesus. Let us welcome them in the kingdom of God. Let us welcome them in the kingdom of God. Children of God. We welcome you. This is the new beginning. This is the new beginning. And this year is the year of new beginning. Therefore, as you have accepted Jesus Christ today, this is the beginning of your new life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me assure you that. You are the new creation. You are no more the same as some two minutes before. You are new creation. You are 
call children of God. You are no more called by the names. We know that if you are not born again, you are called by different names. But as you have just accepted our Lord Jesus Christ, you are called the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you were using things to protect yourself, do away with those things. Do away with them. Throw them away. And trust only the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. only in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you need, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever challenges you, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, you must get yourself a Bible. In the language that you understand. And read it prayerfully so. Before you read the Bible, pray in the name of Jesus. And ask God to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. You are going to start with the Gospel of John. You read it up to the last chapter, that is chapter 21. You can give yourself a chapter per day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, from there you go to the other gospels. Matthew, Luke, and Mark. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And then from there you go to Genesis. And you read all the books of the Bible up to Revelation. The Bible is the living word of God. The Bible is the living word of God. Therefore, read it if you need something from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You must look for a home for you. Where you'll be worshipping with other children of God. And let that place be a place which only talks about the name of Jesus. Don't go to places which mix the name of Jesus with some of the things. Don't go to those places which are spicing the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have centers for WRS all over we have centers all over South Africa. Africa you can live in and go to out and you are going to find the WRS. If you visit Mamilodi, ask where WRS is. You will find out where the WRS is. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, here at Masemola, we start at um, 10 o'clock. Hallelujah. Amen. Every Sunday. We also worship on Wednesdays. We start at half past four. Half past four. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ.